Black Widow is the latest installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It stars Scarlett Johansson, David Harbour, and Rachel Wise. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe as it would really help spread the word of our channel. Also, comment your thoughts on Black Widow in the comment section down below. Please be sure to follow us on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Also, if you like really cool edits of anything from your favorite anime to your favorite TV show, be sure to check out the Mayor Commissions. The Discord server is in the descri description below. Alright, first let's talk about the plot. The movie starts off strong by showing us a teenage Natasha in America with her quote-unquote family. Then S.H.I.E.L.D. arrives and the dad says we have to leave. It turns out that the whole that he stole intel important to S.H.I.E.L.D. because they aren't really a family but rather undercover Russian spies getting getting intel to go to bring back to Russia. They complete they completed their mission the mission and go back to to Russia. I thought the opening scene was great. It was really well made and I thought this would have made a great start for a Black Widow origin story movie, which is what I initially thought it was going to be. And then the opening credits started rolling out and ran through her and her sister stay in the red room when they were younger. I thought this movie was a fine film. But it, I would have enjoyed it so much more if this movie was not about what happened in between Civil War and Infinity War, but her origin story. It could have included things like her stay in the Red Room, to the events of what happened in Budapest, to her joining the Avengers. I think that would have made a great film. I'm not saying we, did, we didn't get an okay one, but it's not, not one on par with the latest and greatest in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The rest of the film is about how the, the Red Room was opening up again and, and Natasha and her sister have to stop it. I thought the story was okay, it had its fair share of laugh and truly great scenes, but there, were, but there was one part that was funny but not in a good way. They literally had a heist movie sort of twist at the end, which was really convoluted and overwhelming and way over confusing. Marvel movies are meant for you to sit back, relax, and turn your mind off. That part just came out of nowhere and I really did not enjoy it. The ending of the film also wasn't that great because it was super predictable. Obviously, they would they would go to they would go to the red room, kill the head, which was General Drakov, and done. That's it. That's how the that's how, that's how the movie ends, which is which, which was very obvious. This movie has two antagonists. The main one is General Drakov, which I thought was a super weak character, and he is the main villain. And you do not want a weak character as as the main villain. We literally never see him at all in the whole movie besides for the end. Practically all we know about him is that he's the creator of the Red Room, and that's about it. In most MCU movies, they usually cut to parts with just the villain to explain some backstory and motives, but not with him. They talk about him when he uh, a bunch when he was when he is off screen. But that does not l l let me get to know the character the hero is against. If this was an origin story of Black Widow, they could have gone into detail on how he created the Red Room, but sadly this movie is not. The second antagonist is Taskmaster, who pretty much is there just to be because the main villain is barely in the movie. Her skill is that she sees anyone uh, if she sees anyone fight she can mimic their fight style and use it against them i thought that was a really great premise and to and the fight scenes we got to see against her i really enjoyed also some of the fighting styles were she, she had were, were, were very f familiar two examples being the fight style of hawkeye and captain america which was a pretty fun e easter egg this villain was a, was a big highlight of the movie, but unfortunately, there were barely any action sequences involving her due to the lack of action sequence in the movie in general. Now let's talk about the characters. We already know Natasha from past movies, so I'm not going to go, to, to go into her. So let's talk about her, her sister, Yelena. Again, the beginning of... The beginning of it was really cool when the events of the opening scene happened. She was very young, so she actually thought the parents she had been, she had been given by the Russians were real. That did make it very sad when her and her parents reunited. She was a pretty dull character, with that being the only interesting plot point about her. She didn't have she, she didn't have that much characterization other than that. Now let's talk about David Harbour's character. He had he was the comedic relief, which I personally thought was a really bad decision by by Marvel. He really upset Yelena, but 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 when she brought brought it up, he didn't really care. The only thing we we knew about him was that he was a Russian super soldier that was a spy for three years. I think if he played a more serious role and actually explained things, it would have been a lot better. When he found out that Yelena was brainwashed by the Red Room, he kind of he kind of just said sorry and shrugged it off, even though it was him that put her in that in that situation and really upset her for the rest of her life. And it would be and it would have, would have been really hard for Yelena to forgive him, but he really just didn't care. At least at least that's what it sounded like in the movie. 
Now let's talk about the action. As always, the action sequences that were in the movie were great, but I did not think there was nearly enough of it. This movie was mostly talking, and not that many action scenes, and not, not, not the many action scenes, but the action scenes in the movie were spot on, as all Marvel movies would be. But like 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 all Marvel movies, there should have been so so much more of it and a little bit of less talk talking parts. I love that. I love the more more drama in in films. I think they're really good. But just in this movie, it just shouldn't have been all about, about the drama. Which brings me to my next point, which is what it should have or could have been. I think this movie should not have been a movie at all. I think it should have been a Disney Plus show. Before people get angry at me, just hear me out. One of my big complaints were that it should have been a Black Widow origin story. I think it would have been, I, I think it would have been cool if, if the Black Widow show did what Arrow did. In little pieces, they can show parts of her backstory within each episode. The first half of the show, which would show her and her sister's experience in the Red Room, and in the second half of the show, it can show some of the missions in the Red Room made her partake in. And in the last two episodes of the show, they can show parts of what happened in Budapest and and how she and Hawkeye met and that, and how she he took her to the Avengers. Also, my second biggest complaint was that there were not that many action scenes. A Disney Plus show can accommodate that too. It can have as many like drama-oriented episodes as it wants while also having a- action sequences mixed in. Also, in the end of the movie, it teases the Hawkeye show. I think it would have made much more sense if they teased that at the end of a Disney Plus show rather than at the end of the movie. Personally, I thought the end credit scene would be teasing something cool like the next Spider-Man or a more far-fetched guess would be an- another Deadpool. But instead, we got a tease for Hawkeye, which was a pretty anticlimactic for a, a big-budget Marvel movie. I had a lot of complaints with this movie, but I also did enjoy it a lot. I did It did have its weaker moments, but also some of its stronger moments. But at the end, I left the theater thinking to myself that the MCU wasted the last appearance of a great character in a movie that we could have lived, have, have lived without. I would rate it a 6, six out of 10. Again, I really think it was a missed opportunity not having this as a, as a, a Disney Plus show.